Welcome to the channel, it's Almighty Den, and I'm back again, and listen, this is your space to find the jump shot, so y'all down below, comment y'all jump shots, and let me know what release height, what defensive immunity, what release speed and timing impact y'all got. Now, for the rest of y'all, the least y'all could do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, cut on the notifications, so you don't miss a beat, and I got y'all. I'm going to explain to y'all how to find and create some of the best jump shots and show y'all one of the best jump shots, at least for the swing builds. So you, it's going to benefit some of the guards and some of the bigs as well. Um, one of the best bases I found in the game as far as Kobe Bryant base. You know, I went through some of these. A lot of these jump shots just spam the A button on different jump shots to see what I can find I like the best. But what I've noticed is players that are typically good shooters or very high caliber shooting guards have good releases. Now, one of the best combinations I found as far was the Kobe Bryant base, Oscar Robinson release one. Oscar Robinson release two. Now, if you want to increase the release speed, you can make that A plus, make your timing impact A minus. I do not yet have Oscar Robinson uh, release because my three pointer is not high enough. But I have a couple of other jump shots, the straight A's, that is straight money. And this is coming from somebody who was struggling a little bit to find my shot and find a shot that I actually like to green. So I'm going to show y'all some gameplay as well after I put my shot on with makes and misses so that you can see that even though. Even when I do miss, it's more so about the contest or the difficulty of the shot rather than my release being off. My release is a lot better with this jump shot right here. I have two jump shots for y'all that has all A's. You know what I'm saying? All A's. If you want to increase the release speeds, you can. If you want to increase your timing impact, you can as well just by going over to blending and release speed. If you want to blend your jump shot as well. But Kobe Bryant, Duncan Robinson, Vince Carter. Very, very solid jump shot. Very good. It's very smooth. Duncan Robinson is a great three-point shooter. Vince Carter is a good three-point shooter. Kobe Bryant base is amazing. Now, I also want to show y'all for some of my taller builds out there, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant has a very good base on this game as well. But what I noticed when I was going back and forth with my releases was that the Kobe Bryant was a little bit better for my build. Now, for some of y'all, y'all not going to have some of these releases, so y'all going to have to maneuver it a little bit differently. Now, I got two jump shots right now. Kobe Bryant, Ducky Robinson, Vince Carter, Kobe Bryant, Kevin Herter, and Klay Thompson. Klay Thompson is obviously money as well. As you can see, my created jump shots are better than the standard jump shots in the game thus far. All A's. All A's. Now, I want to show y'all actual gameplay as well so that y'all can see and verify that, like, look, exactly what I mean when I'm telling y'all that these jump shots are good and they are smooth. There's an additional setting in NBA 2K this year where you can choose where you want to release, choose where you want your green one to be, whether it's early, very early, late, or very late. Now, I leave mine on late because typically in pre a lot of previous 2Ks, it seems like late was normal. So, I leave mine on late. Now, I did try early as well, but it does depend on your preference. It does depend, I guess, your, maybe your connection, um, where you find yourself releasing the, uh, the ball at the most. Me personally, I'm going to go with late for now. If I speed up my jump shot, if I slow my jump shot down, I might go early. But, you know, the faster it is, I'm going to leave it on late for the time being. Now, I have heard if you leave it on early, it does snap. Green people have been saying that, but we'll see. But let me show you all some gameplay. Now, I'm going to give you all some background. I'm playing on all-star difficulty. I have an 88.3. Volume shooter is one of my badges. And as you can see here, I have a pretty solid release. And as the game progresses... Um, as I'm getting more reps with my jump shot, I'm getting better very, very quickly. And I want to show y'all some of the shots that I've been taking. A lot of them have been off the dribble. And as you can see, when you're getting those green light animations like that, they give you the cut scene. That's how you know it's money. That's when you know it's money. Um, shooting off the dribble is more difficult than catch and shoot. So if you're catching and shooting, this jump shot will be even more fire for you. Because me shooting off these screens is a little bit more difficult. Not, not insanely hard, but... I have a lot more room to get better. My three-pointer goes up to a 92. I have a lot more badges to unlock. And as you can see there, I took a shot, but it was contested. Um, the release wasn't too bad, though. The release wasn't way too far off. I just didn't make the shot. You have to understand that good contests on this game will be rewarded even if they're close when you don't have badges. As you can see there, another animation. My shot percentages are going up. This is one of my games where a lot of my points came strictly from jump shots, threes, middies, and all that. So that's a very good sign. I'm still very early in my my career grind, but as you can see here, I am greening on all-star difficulty. And if you can green in my career, you will be able to green in the park. Because I'm telling you, the my career defense, the AI defense is a lot more difficult to get around than the people that you're playing on in the park. It's a lot easier. Those screens are hidden more deadly and all that. And as you can see, plenty of greens are being shown here. You know what I'm saying? Even right here. Very good shot, excellent open, you know, 
the contest on here sometimes range a little bit how they can get over there because the defense does close out pretty quickly sometimes but if you get it in that window which i'm getting it in and the shot is turning green it's snapping green a lot personally i like this jump shot but i strongly advise y'all to uh, try it out or try some out that y'all like find your own jump shot too don't just listen to everybody but anyways if you enjoyed this video make sure that like button hit that sub button cut those notifications on until next time Densky out